Hello there gaming bros <clears throat> Let's explore today opportunities How can we improve FIFA 20? It's not so old Graphically wise But there is always something that we can do about it Alrighty, I have reshade It's a really cool application I can provide link for every, everyone who wants to download and I can make a separate video for the people which want to use it but basically this application reshade gives you opportunity to change as much as you like a big part of the games that exist mostly old ones of course it's cool to change old games. Anyways, this is how it works. Let me start this uh, football game. Easy, easy. I have hotkeys. I made them like that. You can just press the button. F2, F1. I just want it to be F1 for overlay key. And this is what it does actually. When I press it, it just shows me the UI. So anyways, you can adjust all of them. You, it's very simple. You just press and press with the mouse and then press a button. And you can change it anytime. It's quick and easy. Anyways, let's keep going. Let's remove this one for a second. Oops and start the actual football game computer will play with computer that's ah, okay I will keep on busy uh -uh. right FIFA 2020 some people love it some people hate it what can you do it's divisive yeah, EA games. Mm. Anyways, while they are playing, we're gonna be playing with the visual options. We press home for start. I hope you hear me good. I really hope so. Tuck, 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 tuck. Of course you do. Mm. Now I'll put this little bad boy over here and start with anti-aliasing. Well, actually, I played before with AA settings for FIFA and I don't know I found out that I don't don't really like it how it looks like for the AA stuff for example this net over here should be kind of improved but of course I need to use also all these different settings which I did but I don't know man they didn't really change the game all that much for me anyways up to preferences everybody can check all this AA you just need to type in the search AA and it's coming up you just choose all of them this of course when you have already reshaped installed anyways I'm thinking to move on the one that I really like is um, ambient light yeah that's one that that one it's really cool 
Of course, it doesn't change the game super duper drastically, but it's good enough. It's good enough. You just play with all these options. I will adjust the way I like it. Just the base intensity will be around 2.7. Adaptive light dependent. And lens. I like these interesting effects over here on the screen. Uh, you can you can change them. You can make them stronger. You have to change from the base intensity actually. If you wanna see whoa ho, ho, ho. it's becoming very interesting. But I like to keep it nice and just coming from time to time like a special light effect anyways that's all with ambient light we can press for active to the top let's go next one which is levels this is a very nice uh, it's playing with the contrast of the game and right away you can see there is an interesting difference in the grass, in the darks, and in the whites. But it clears out this grayish hue. I like it. I just don't like it to be very, very, very dark. So, you can see when you play with these settings, whoop, what can happen. 16 is the base. I like it around 13, 12. Yep, pretty cool, pretty cool. Mm. Let's move this one a little bit. A little more. And let's change the camera and restart the whole thing. All right. I'm actually uh, on a full HD resolution right now. MS, uh, all the A options inside of the game are maxed out. Um, it's pretty nice. It's not 4K, of course, but oh well. In the future. <laughs> uh, next one, which I really like, is Luma Sharpen. And what it does essentially is uh, what the name says, it's sharpening. It's a sharp sharpening filter, which you can actually check by clicking over here, show sharpening pattern, to see what actually you are doing. And when you press strength of the sharpening and you just slide it, and you can see how it changes all the way up. And you can make it very, very, very strong because this is the limit, the maximum amount of sharpening a pixel receives. Mm, I don't like it so strong. No, no, I keep it close to default, and then you press again show sharpening button and you check you can reload just for all the shaders to take uh, all the effects to take their uh, I don't know mm, I don't like this crowd yeah I can sharpen them. Let's just reset to default and sharpen back a little bit. Let's see the crowd. Yeah, I don't need the crowd to be too over sharpened. Yeah, because in this game the crowd is not really that majestic. 
and the players themselves with just a tiny bit of sharpening they look good enough okay You can add like a almost endless amount of filters, depends how strong is your PC. This is all my active filters right now, which is only three. But when I press, remember, over here with the hotkeys, you can play. And there is also a tutorial for each and every time when you install reshade on a different game anyways I will place, press F1 right now just to hide this lovely UI I will start this again and then we are gonna see what actually we did And as I said before, it's not much. We just change a little bit the vibrance, the contrast, and we add some effects which you can increase or reduce according to your preferences. I like it like it to be subtle subtle. Maybe I can increase it just a tiny little bit. see how it will be let's switch it off yeah it's visible I like it I like it with these shaders oh yeah piece of grass <laughs> the FIFA 2020 is not so bad graphically wise twenty twenty one probably is better I don't know I didn't buy it anyways I'm playing with this one right now just I wanna see what I can improve Off that's on. Let's let them play a little bit. That's off. That's on. By the way, I never play in this camera, of course. This is just to, to test out <laughs> the game itself. Let me very quickly just change it uh, to Pro. <laughs> Even funnier camera. Never use it. But I'm just curious how it's gonna look like. Oh, it's weird, man. It's so weird. That's off. Doesn't look bad. That's on. Yeah, sharpness, colors. It's a little bit more vibrant. That's off. That's on. Ooh. all right buddy next time we're gonna score next time so I'm gonna wrap it up over here um, I hope I helped someone to make 
the game a little better there is a huge amount of uh, choices actually you can do and you can experiment depth of field and stuff like that so nothing is stopping anyone you can always just try as long as your computer can take it because yep you can see it's taking a little bit I just cap my frame rate um, usually I can have more frames but I have a G-Sync monitor and I like to use this kind of frame rate anyways this is not important this is what the game the um, reshade is using and it's not quite a lot it's almost nothing depends of course which settings you are using anyway that's it see you bro gamers